In this video, I want to walk you through how to use and understand some of the blur filters that are available in Photoshop. So I've duplicated my background layer, and actually I'm going to duplicate it a couple times, and we're going to walk through um, several different blur options. So I'm going to start with this first layer. We're going to go up to Filter, um, Blur, and I'm going to walk you through some and, and a little bit of what they do. Let's actually first start with Blur Gallery. So in this Blur Gallery, you have Field Blur, Iris, Tilt Shift, Path, Spin, and these can be a little bit confusing sometimes. So let's start with um, let's start with Field Blur. And what it's going to do, it's going to open this menu where you actually have all the blur options. So Field Blur, I'm going to increase these a lot so you can see. It's, um, it's like it's, it's increasing the blur over pretty much what feels like the entire image. You can see it's starting to blur and then it, it strongly blurs. So it's a nice general blur. Um, you could come in after you use it and use a mask tool. You can also move your target point. So right now it's in the center and I'm going to bring it down here. And now I'm going to reduce that blur. You can see even with the target down here with field blur, it's still blurring almost the entire image. All right, so I'm going to turn that one off and now I'm going to select iris blur. Now with iris blur, you get a specific iris. So basically a center section. And so I'm going to come down with it and you can reshape it as well. And this is going to tell us where we don't, this is almost like where a mask, where you don't want the blur. So if I didn't want the bottom of the boat blurred, and then I want it to kind of fade, um, I could do that. I could also come up, maybe right at the edge. So maybe I want to blur just around the boat. Almost like I used um, a creative lens. So I could come in like that and you can see the blur is all around it. So this one works nice, especially if you have like a flower and you want to blur around the subject, you could use this iris blur. So I think that one works really nice. Now we can turn that one off and we can try the tilt shift blur. So this one's going to allow us to do a, um, we can move this angle any way we want it. So again, if we wanted to bring this over and we want to kind of have our blur in this area and we can increase kind of these focal points. Maybe bring these in a little bit tighter and I'll increase the blur here and you can see where that blur is starting and it fades softly. So that's another option if you really wanted to maybe just blur the bottom of an image. So we can also turn this, there we go, we can straighten it up and let's move this So that's keeping everything blurred um, above this line and a little bit below it, and it's keeping the boat in our in our frame. So we have lots of options with um, this one and the iris blur. Those are probably two of my favorites. So you can see how it's blurring the sky, the top of the boat, giving us their focus down here, but then blurring the water. Okay, the next one is path blur, and so path blur. Um, that would be if something's moving. So if we wanted to show that this boat um, has some movement in any direction, you can, you can alter it. So you can see you can do all kinds of fun things with this. Works great if you have a car scene and you want to add some movement. And you've got your speed here. So you can see how fast you can make that. And you've got other options. You can do rear sync flash or basic blur, and you can also do how it targets. Now you can have it in the center, um, which samples both sides, or you can have it just to one side. So you can see it's kind of moving, moving the boat. And you've got your end speed. So you can see we can make it really soft if we just keep our speed slow and keep our endpoint speed slow. And then it's just a really nice blur. If this was out on the water, it would definitely look like it was moving. 
So that's a fun option, but remember to start, start small with it and then you can always increase it. So that's path blur. All right, and then the next one is spin blur. Now spin blur is not gonna probably work with this image, but I'll still show you what it looks like. So this is where you can do something really fun. A lot of people use this with flowers and um, you can create a fun spin look with this. It's updating, it takes a minute. Um, and it's just gonna give you that circular blur. So it's not gonna work nice with this image, but I'll show you another image that it may work with. So these are some great options right here under Blur Tools when you're wanting to really specify and create blur and you really then don't have to use your mask tools because you can specify exactly where you want that blur. All right, so I am going to cancel out of this and let's look at another image and with this image, I'm gonna duplicate the layer and let me go up to Filter, Blur, Tools, Blur Gallery, and let's do that spin blur so you can see how it works. All right, so I'm gonna bring this and make it, make it larger. And it's taking a long time to update today. So let's see, it's almost there. We'll let it keep updating. So you have your target that you can move around and it's gonna allow you to position where you want that spin. So you can see it's moving all over the place. Let me see if I can get it back up to the center and I'm trying to make these points larger. This one, it definitely gets stuck sometimes for me and runs a little slow um, on the update, but I think you get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. See if I can get it to move along. Now what you can do with this one after you process it, it kind of made this one look all strange. You can reduce the opacity. So if you don't want all that blur, you can always just add a little bit. You can use your mask tools. So that's how that one works. All right, so if we go back to our other image I can find it. Here we go. Um, those were those tools that we used. So remember those are under filter, blur gallery. So you have those and using these blur tools you really don't have to then mask very often at all. Now the other options are over here in the blur gallery. Now I have an entire video on lens blur which is a really unique one but these blurs are going to impact your entire image and you will have to use some type of mask to customize them. So let's go to this next layer. I'm gonna turn this one off and let's go to filter blur and I'll just show you a Gaussian blur. So I usually keep it maybe around six to eight and you'll see that it's impacted the entire image. Now I can add a mask and I could actually come in with a gradient and I could change where I want that um, mask. So I could bring back the detail here in the water, or I could bring back, come down with it. So let's clear those out. And I'm gonna come down to kind of make this more in focus. You can see I brought back the focus here and I left down here pretty soft. So I'll show you the before and the after. So using any of these blurs under the blur option, they're gonna do a global adjustment and then you'll need to come in and make them more specific. So we can go to another layer. Let's turn this one off and go to filter blur. And let's try a um, motion blur. Now with motion blur, you can do different directions. So because it's in the water, I'm gonna keep it right there and I can click okay. Now it's also impacted the entire image. So again, I can add a mask and I could grab my brush and I could really decide where I want. Um, I need to flip it to black and I could remove it from these parts of the image. So those are some options when you're wanting to create blur um, that really help you customize and personalize your image. So have fun playing with those. Um, remember there's the blur and then there's blur gallery. You've got those two options.